Dottie. I'm here with Miss Addie, and we are going to do a tag video. And if y'all didn't know this, um, she's my Addie Pie, and um, I I don't know if I've ever told y'all her full name, but I'm going to tell you anyways. Her name is Adeline LaCole Day, and I call her Addie. So yeah, there is a tag that's going around by Sparkles. I love your name, girl. If that, I think that is your name. I think that's what you said in your video, that your name was Sparkles. Your mama loved you, girl. I wish my name was Sparkles. Anyways, um, her channel is Loving Reborn Dolls. And she has an eight question tag that I would like to participate in. And y'all can look at this beautiful baby. As I do this tag, I've changed her diaper, got her changed and everything. And I was doing a video earlier, the same the same tag video, but somebody called and it messed it up. So psh, I was like, I'm not re I'm not re changing her and wiping her because I gave her a bath. I mean, we I dusted her down, like bathed her, freshened her up, freshened diaper, all that good jazz. And now she's just laying here looking so pretty. So, anyways, this tag. Let me jump on into it. Number one. It says, if you could babysit one of your nieces or nephews in the community, which one would they be? Well, my first would be my niece, and I would have to say, which niece would it be? Hmm. Hmm. I would say Annalise. She is a full body silicone, and her mommy is Mia from Wishes and Wonders. Or Wonders and Wishes. Oh, God. I'm so sorry, Mia. I'll put it right here. I'm so sorry. It's either Wishes and Wonders or Wonders and Wishes. And she has a full um, body um, silicone baby girl. And her name is Annalise. And I love her. Oh, my gosh. I love her. I would, like, keep her for a week and play dress up with her, like, every day. For real. And then my nephew would be my friend Charney. Charnay, Charnay, good lord, Charnay, and um, she has a Liam sculpt that she painted, and she let me name him, and his name is Leland James, and I call him LJ, and he is absolutely adorable, and I could have him for a week, and hence, I may not even send him back. So, those are the two babies. Number two, if you could have a meetup with three of your sisters in the community, who would they be? Well, I would love to meet up with a, every one of y'all I'm friends with, but honestly, if I had to meet three, I would have to meet my bestie, which is Karen from, um, oh God, Baby Loves Nursery. Um, we've been friends. As soon as we started speaking, it was like we were connected. We were, you know, yeah. Um, then I would have to say Charnay because she's another one I became really good friends with. Um, I speak to her on a daily basis, bay, daily basis. I love to speak to her. She is such a hoot. She is so funny. I wish she'd do more videos, y'all, just to hear y'all, just for y'all to hear her. She's just funny as heck. And then Miss Davina from Want More Babies 2015. I absolutely adore Davina. I love to listen to her talk. I love to hear her videos. Y'all, please keep her in your prayers. She had surgery last week or the week before. And, yeah, just keep her in your prayers. Girl, I'm thinking about you. So, can I do four? Can I do one more? I would really love to meet Miss Catherine. I really would. And hers is, um, Cat's something i can't remember you changed your channel again honey but everybody knows who i'm talking about when i say Catherine. so she's another lady i just absolutely love and i've loved to meet number three um if you could change one thing in the community what would it be i would change the meet the the doll show i'd move it closer to me it stinks that there is a doll show that's going to be is like so far away in Utah. And then there's another doll show way the heck down in Orlando. Why can't you just do a doll show like in Mississippi or Tennessee? I mean, come on now. Let's do something down here that we can have a big whoop to do too. I just That's what I would change. It's the location of the doll show. 
Um, number four, what's your favorite store to shop for your Reborns? Okay, my favorite store to shop for my Reborns is Walmart here in my town because I live in a really small town and we have Walmart or we have um, JCPenney's and I'm just not going to shop at JCPenney's. It's ridiculously expensive. Then a lot of the times I do a lot of my shopping on online, um, people's stores online. I love going to people's um, pre-loved shops and buying clothes. I love to thrift on st online. Um, so anything that's thrift store wise, I love to shop like that. Okay. Number five. Do you still own your first reborn and can you show her? No, I can't show her because I do not own her. I sold her three, no, yeah, three years ago. And she was the Molly sculpt off a of bountiful baby. I put a picture of her right here. And she was my first baby. Um, I didn't really do anything with her. She just laid around and I put her in a karaoke cabinet. Um, when I first got her, I thought I loved her, but then I got into doing, seeing more reborns and, and I realized, yeah, she was not up to par. Uh, uh She was like somebody's first reborn and I don't even want to go into that, but so I sold her, but I will put a picture of her right there. So no, I don't have her anymore. All right. Number six. Is box opening presentation more important to you? Yes and no. I'm going to say yes and no. Is the presentation more important to me? Um, um, yes, sometimes. Um, when the artist puts that much love in the box, that sometimes that, that bond, that, 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 that presentation hypens the bond, the hypens the excitement for the box opening. But then there's sometimes you can get a box opening, like I've had a box opening that there was nothing in it but a doll. And I absolutely loved that baby. And I had her for a long time and I sold her. She was, it was just her and her blanket and her COA, that was it. And I had her for a few years and I actually adopted her out and I've, her mommy actually asked me like a few months ago if I'd like to adopt her back. And I've been thinking about it, so I'm not sure. So, um, I'm going to say yes and no on that, on that. Um, number seven, what was your first dog? What was your favorite dog growing up? My favorite doll growing up was Barbie. Well, okay, baby doll. Okay, baby dolls was strawberry shortcake. I love strawberry shortcake. Everything strawberry shortcake. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. And I'm actually looking on eBay to find the one I want to add to my collection so I can say, okay, this was my childhood, you know, little girl doll. But when I turned nine years old, um, I was like nine or ten. Um, my stepmom, um, I guess she was trying to get me to grow up. I won't, I won't forget it. I will never forget it. But I was like 9, 10 years old. And she told me I was too old for baby dolls. So they started buying me Barbie dolls. So I became obsessed with Barbie dolls. And I love Barbie dolls. I even have Barbie dolls now. Hence, I have like Barbie families. And I am really thinking about making a Barbie channel. And getting me a Barbie house. Because yeah, I am a 40 year old child. Yes. But, yeah, um, Strawberry Shortcake was my favorite doll when I was a little girl, and Barbie was my next favorite doll, so. Um, and number eight, what is your plans for the future as for Reborns Go? I want to get better with my painting and rooting. I really want to do that. I want to get really better with the painting and rooting. Right now, you know, um, I've, I, I can grow. I know I can. Um, two, I want to go to a doll show, a doll, you know, like the Utah doll show. I would love to do that. And, um, three, I would love to go on more, um, mommy meetups, get out more, get out of my shell a little more and get out. And then four, I want a silicone. 
I want a full body silicone and I have a full body silicone that I've really been looking at but it's going to be a little bit before I can get it because my sons graduate next year so everything that I'm going to start doing until then is like getting class rings getting invitations getting their cap and grant cap and gown getting pictures done um I want to have a graduation party for them I want to do all this big stuff for them and it costs money and I have two that are graduating at the exact same time no they're not twins but they are 10 months apart and so with them being 10 months apart they're in the same grade and they're graduating at the same time so yeah so anyways, I hope you guys go and do this tag. I absolutely loved it. Thank you, Sparkles. I hope that is your name. I really think that's your name. Oh, I just want right now, every time I think about if that's your name, I want to just throw glitter go sparkle. Because, I don't know, I just think it's pretty cool. Anyways, you guys go do her, her tag and it's Loving Reborn Dolls tag. So, thank you guys. I'll talk to you later. Say bye, guys. Say, you want to see that pretty little face? Look at that pretty face. You see that pretty face? Aw, that pretty girl. Okay, guys, I'm going to let you go. Good night.